It is a lightweight showdown between Edson Barboza and Makwan Amir Khani. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, keeping you there, using the body weight effectively so that you can't get up or use a hip escape. This guy will sap your willpower with the best of them, and more often than not, guys, just have to give up and, and wait for the round to end. This guy is a ground and pound expert. His specialty is controlling fighters and utilizing ruthless, destructive ground and pound techniques. Born and raised in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, here's the talented striker Edson Jr. Barbosa lives in the United States, trains under Ricardo Almeida, and he is the owner of one of the best knockouts in UFC history when he KO'd Terry Adam at UFC 142, Edson Barboza. This guy has devastating one-punch knockout power amongst the very best in the world at delivering a single blow to end the fight. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Barboza is three years his senior. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A wrestler only a professional record of 14 wins, three losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Turku, Finland, Mach 1, Mr. Finland, Amir Khani. And now the face of his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A kickboxer, holding a professional record of 20 wins, 6 losses. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Novo Friburgo, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Edson Junior. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Levine. So Eve Levine draws the lightweight assignment ready? here. Ready? Well, no better way to pay homage to the history of pride in the UFC with this single night UFC Grand Prix tournament. Some of the best fighters in the world have come out. Let's see who will be the last fighter standing here tonight. Straight to the body by Edson Jr. Barboza. Level change there. Barboza gets back up, no surprise there. Nice punch by Barboza. Just missed with a huge kick. Good combination so far from both men. Well, he left his head open there, Joe, and he got cracked with that jab. He was almost moving into it, so let's see if he can switch up the footwork here, Joe, and make the requisite adjustments. There's the shot. There's the takedown by Amir Khan. And now is where things could get really interesting. Excellent movement and transitions here on the ground. Staying busy. Trying to pass. And Dizzy as he looks to improve position here. Yet again, they will clinch here. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. He pummels under, and now he's got double underhooks. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. 
One overhook, one underhook. Oh, how about the judo toss there? Judo 101. He's covering up, doing a nice job of blocking those shots from the top. He's trying to pass here. Barboza gets back up again. He's controlling with the double underhooks. Oh, he pummels under. Now he's got the underhook. He's got the double. And the fighters now separate as the action continues. We're switching stances here. Stuffed it. Stuffed it. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, gets the takedown late in the round here, Joe. Well, he's in north-south now. Let's see if he can hold it. He's looking to pass. Hey! Round two is next. Not a ton going on. Here's a perfect head kick. And here we see a beautiful throw. And there's some devastating judo. Brittany Palmer is in the building. gets caught with that punch. He's got to figure out a way to get that guard higher, Joe. Lands a kick. Amir Khani gets tagged with that jab. Pretty good weapon for him tonight. Tags him with the uppercut. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he has been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent so let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. Amir Khani gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Trademark inside leg kick there by Barboza. Man, Joe, he continues to leave that head open. His opponent's got to be salivating at this point in time. That jab has been there all night. You got to get that head off the center line. Lands a strike there. Good shot to the body. Under three minutes now to go in round two. He's looking for an arm triangle. He's got the arm secured. He might get a finish here. This arm triangle looks deep. He might have to tap any second now. Oh, and there my it is. God. He got the choke for the tap. So, yeah, it came down to tap out or go to sleep, and his opponent chose the former. The choke was clearly sunk in deep. Perfect technique, and ultimately, that is one of the bigger wins of his career. He gets it done by submission here tonight. And here it is again. Beautiful arm triangle submission. Absolutely perfectly executed. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission. That could hold up as one of the better subs of the year. Near perfect execution tonight. Here now, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of round number 2. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm triangle choke. Mark 1, Mr. Finland, Amir Khani!
Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.